Hey guys, JH and Mr. X. <laughs> Looking for your wedge. Oh no, mm. I won't need it. Oh, okay. I'll use yours if I have to. Okay guys, so welcome uh, back again. Uh, the weather here is just unbelievable guys. We get these 10 minute breaks. It's unbelievable. We just can't get out and do any videos because we 10 minutes is all we get in terms before the the rain squalls come through. Okay, today we've made a bit of a, well, a couple of days ago we made a, a breakthrough in terms of a new process for pitching and chipping. And for someone like Mr. Rex, who has always been a very ordinary pitcher and chipper of the ball, uh, this is an absolute godsend. Uh, I saw him hit some shots here the other day in the rain on Friday and they were just spectacular. I've never seen him be able to pitch the ball with such authority uh, and quality of, of strike and consistency of accuracy. Okay guys, we're going to call this opposite lock. And by opposite lock, we mean that that the pressure application, the formation of the pressure in the grip is opposite. Our arms are going this way. Our hands are going this way. It's like if we had two handles here, we're turning them that way. And we're getting the formation of our arms in this position here. And the pressure of the formation on the inside here, like the arm is turning that way, both ways. So it's an op opposite application of pressure in both arms. And what happens, guys, is it turns into a, a, uh, a counter force, a balancing out uh, equilibrium um, building structure. As we apply the force in that arm that way and this way, we get this equilibrium formed in here, in this Y here. And all we're doing is we're moving this Y with pressure associated with it. I'll just let Mr. X explain how he's feeling it. Okay, um, being a prolific, terrible tipper of the ball. And pitcher. And we're, we're talking about stuff up to 50 you know, 50 yards, guys, that sort of stuff. Although he can hit this with a full shot, starting to rain again. Um, we, we come to the fact that uh, if you open the left hand to, a, to its full 90 degrees from parallel, and the other hand, right hand, the other direction, it's, it seems to lock everything in where you can't flip and uh, can't cock the, the club as much. Yeah, and very much the ultimate arm ball. I mean, extraordinary arm ball. Um, it's just ripping down with rain here guys just it's just hard to put you under the gun here but just hit a couple and just have a look at what happens it's actually an arm ball guys he, he, he calls them moving the Y the Y that he establishes he keeps it there and just moves it I mean the purity of strike there is off the scale and he's always been a prodigious snap loader but he's not now. So you just feel like you're moving the Y. It's just just a movement of the Y. I, I feel like it's just straight back and straight through. And, and the hands are, are, are helping a lot. They're, they're, they're helping by not giving me the, the snap action. Not giving you the ability to have a lot of um, angle. Uh, and there's no such word as angulation. But having, you know, th this angle uh, forming and unforming. There's none of that, guys. He's just taking the Y back with... Are you feeling it like with the inside of your elbows? Yes. With the elbows? With the elbows. The elbows are, feel like they're almost touching together. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's a really good, uh, good thought. Feel like your elbows are touching. Guys, I mean, that, that, I mean that's about a 50 yard shot. And that is just absolutely purity of strike. And he's normally a, very much a snap loader. And he's very strong in his hands. He's got big hands and strong hands. Because he's done a lot of manual stuff with his hands over the years. So he's like a blacksmith from that point of view. So he's always got a propensity, even on a small shot, to rotate. To rotate, release it. Well, this takes all that out, guys. If you're someone that has a predominance of, of utilisation of that trail hand, even on a pit shot or a chip shot, it's gone. Just hit a little one here, mate, over the hill here. Got about a, you know... We're just going to pitch the, just just chip this onto a green. Oh, oh, 
Go in. Go in. Well, well that, that's about... He, he ca had to carry that about 28 metres and he's nearly holed it. Now, for him to nearly hold the ball is almost a miracle. We would have to submit that to the Vatican for, for a miracle certification. OK, we'll try that again. Just, I'm only new to this, so... Yeah, well, we only did a Friday, guys, and we haven't had a practice at it. But it worked so well on Friday, and he was hitting some full shots with it, which were extraordinary. <clears throat> a little bit of snap load there. So, so, okay, so what happened there? So did you bleed that out? Did no, you bleed out the, the pressure? I didn't feel the pressure in the elbows. Okay. I, I sort of lost it a little bit. I looked at the target and then come back to my ball and lost the pressure. Okay. All right, so, so the last part of the protocol for this protocol is to feel the pressure before you take it away. Re-establish the pressure. Just a little, we're just going to chip this onto the green. Oh, as Mo Norman says, the shots are so pure, they choke him, the purity chokes him. I feel all the pressure in my elbows at the moment, that I don't feel... So it's, so it's this? It's that feeling, guys. See how those hands are there? If you can have that as a, as a, as a mental picture, but then have your hands gripping the club, that's the pressure factor you've got to have. You've got to have this got to have that pressure there but with your hands on the clock but with that pressure still involved it's a strange feeling to, to get used to with the oh, grip and it looks strange we'll try in a moment we'll try and give a close-up of the grip all right now all I want to incorporate that's perfect what I want to incorporate with that the ready code. Yeah, to put to put the cherry on the cake is have the ready code, because it's very easy to move the Y if we move it slowly. Look at that. God, this rain is so annoying. Oh, oh, go in. Oh, it's almost pitched in the hole. Someone's pissed in the hole. Well, it's raining. Is that camera okay? Yeah, no, it'll be alright, yeah. It's not waterproof, but... We'll try that again. The ready code works better because I, I can move... I, I, I don't get the snap load. Okay. I don't give the chance for the hands to get away from the... from where they Yeah, going. I love the ready code. Yeah, that's just like delicate. a... It's just like a shove, isn't it? Mm. Like a little push. <clears throat> what are you going to do? How far are you going to hit this one? Uh, that second flag. Okay, so that's, that's about 45 carry, huh? Well, go in. Yeah, that, that, that's carried 44. <laughs> 44. All right, now, what was interesting on Friday was Mr. X was hitting full shots, and they were the best I've ever seen. Like, he was hitting full wedges. They were like 140. 140 carry. Just unbelievable. But easy, wasn't it? It looked like we could read the name on the golf club. So I can't do that. I mean, I've only had a couple of shots with it, but I don't think I could hit a full shot with it because... My hands are not as big as his, so I can't get the purchase that he's got. I may be able to get it. We'll just hit a little bit longer one. We won't go a full shot. Okay. We'll just go something... That yeah, try and carry to what, 75? To, to where the, to where the uh, right elbow folds. Okay. Maybe 80 carry. Yeah. That's just the most perfect, beautiful golf shot. That's carried 90. That's 90, right on the button. Sorry, I, I wasn't very good at maths. That was right on the button. But that was just perfect. You see, guys, and, and if you could slow this down, you'll see that he has very much, you know, a windscreen wiper effect, which we need today with the bloody rain. <laughs> we'll try to do a really, uh, really good job with the ready code. Okay, and some 5 o'clock nose.
Well, it don't get any better than that. See, that's that's carry one. One twenty. One ten. Oh no, that's one twenty. Okay. And that's just perfect. And guys, honestly, you can really look like you're going to read the name on the shaft. It's moving so slow, but that contact is just exquisite. And we got it's been raining all night, guys. The ground is boggy and. Takes a bit of getting used to that. Oh well, we'll show the people the. Um, we'll show the. Uh, okay, the viewers, the grip in a moment. Oh, honestly, Mr. X, that's just that's just well, that's with no exaggeration. That is that far from the other golf ball. It just hasn't moved. <coughs> okay, so the, the ready code's unbelievable. All right, now. We'll go over to the camera now. There's no audio over there because our audio is stuck in the ground here. But I'll get behind the, the finder and we can just show you the grip and then we'll come back and explain it. And, then, and, and he can come back and then explain it. Come over. Okay, that was the visuals. He'll explain to you now the visuals. The, um, the feeling is that the left hand goes as far as you can roll it under. As far as you can roll it under. The right hand as far as you can roll it under. You'll have to overlap the, uh, well, it, it's an individual feeling, overlap the thumb onto the fingers. Otherwise, you, you're going to be pushing the thumb over towards the, uh, where it originally started. So, so you've actually got the thumb outside the fingers here. I've got an overlap grip with the thumb onto the onto the right hand. Therefore, that just gives me a comfortable feeling. If I have the thumb underneath, it's it's too uncomfortable. Okay, so your thumb is over. You 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 wrap your two middle fingers of the right hand around the shaft, then you put the outside thumb on top of those. Yes, that's correct. So that's actually pushing pressure down on those two those two middle fingers of the trail hand. And it just seems to lock everything in. Yeah, it, it, gives, it looks it gives locking. A, gives a locking yeah. feeling. Yeah. Opposite lock. Opposite pressure and we've got a lock. Okay, hit a full shot. Now he's normally with wedge. He's, he's pretty long normally. He could hit, wedge, what, 140? Yeah, he can hit wedge one for That's 152 yards. Mr. X, I mean, I've just never seen you hit the ball like that. I have never seen Mr. X. Uh, uh, there is no movement on that ball. Everybody says they hit the ball straight, but when you see a ball that has no movement on it, it really does give you a different visual effect. That has no movement. It is just pure backspin, very much like Mo Norman. And I've stood down range of Mo Norman, and of course the ball comes out with what we used to term exhausted spin. He would hit it out because his plane of attack was so straight and flush that the ball would have pure backspin, no side spin, and it would run out of backspin and fall straight down. So he never got any hops forward or hops back. It just fell down and was dead. Tom Watson used to play exactly the same. So that's exhausted spin. That ball just falls straight out of the sky. Beautiful shot. Now guys, we don't advocate it for anything else. Um, although Mr. X thinks that he could probably hit, you know, uh, some full shots with it, but it would take Take a look, but it's not designed for that. It's designed for accuracy and repeatability. And as you can see, it's very, very languid in the way that it that it operates. Yeah, it takes takes a lot of getting used to. It oh does. yeah, yeah. Well, this is our first go. This is live television, as we always we'll, say. We'll just pitch one over that green there. Okay, okay. that's about 65 carry. And we'll try to get the ready code. Okay, that's. Over 67 carry. It's two over the green. How was that? Perfect. 
the, the more I get used to it, yeah. the easier it is. Well, in total, you've hit probably what, 20 shots? At the most. Yeah, yeah. We, we hit about, in the rain the other day, we hit about five, and it was dark, wasn't it? <laughs> and the rain was belting us. Yeah, and it was dark. Okay, we'll just do one more. Try to get more ready code. Okay, now there was a little bit of snap in that. Okay. But that, but it was still beautiful, but it was just a little bit of paintbrush. Now, I think that's because what you need to have in the protocol is the last thing before you take it back is pressure on the elbows. I feel like you've got a big rubber band here pulling the elbows together. As a matter of fact, we may make something up like that, Mr. X, where we actually, see, you know, we've had before, we've had the lead better thing where they pull the elbows in, but they've never done it with, with full rotation of both arms. Now we may make, make something, we'll go around here and we'll get it in here and we'll be doing this. It'll just be like, I've actually got, you know, that big pink uh, elastic band? It, it's basically that, guys. I just feel like the action is essentially this. The hands are turned this way and we're just, without moving the body, just go back here and we just throw it. And it is a throw. What, do you think it's a throw or a push or what? feels like a push to me, like you're okay. pushing, pushing the ball away. When, when you when you don't flip it, that is. When you, okay. when you get it correct and you, there's no flip in it, it's like, just like a straight arm push. All right, now this is the same for chipping, guys. Now, if you were going to chip, we're just going to run one onto the green here. It's just going to be a little one, okay. little low chipper. You would get closer to the, to the ball. You would stand the club up and it would be very much a push shot. It's perfect. Okay, even abbreviate that. We're only going to... We're only five yards off the off the green here. We're just going to run it through that that rough there, or the green side uh, second cut. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It is difficult sometimes if you, if you, if you forget to do that pressure, you'll get the snap. Oh, there's no question. I, I can see it. Mm. I can see. It. So the last part of the protocol is push the is, elbows together. Yeah. You reckon you hit a hit a seven on or something? Um, I can try. Yep. Just get your seven. So I always put Mr. Mr. X under the pump. But yeah, guys. I mean, I don't know why you'd ever want to do this, but the last shot we hit on Friday, I said, you know what, Mr. X, I think you could hit a full shot with with a with a club. Because a lot more velocity, and of course, there's not a lot of contact pressure with your hands turned that far. This will be very interesting. And it's all full channel lock protocol with ready code, everything else. Well, you're a wonder, Mr. X. Just a wonder. I mean, he's just killed that. And you can see it's the same action as that pitching action. Now, what does that say to you in terms of an explanation why would that work so well in a, in a full swing did you feel like you were going to lose the club no no i had full control of the club um it's just a very strange feeling and it's a different feeling in the, the forearms it's more of a pressure feeling in the forearms whereas with the, the golf swing we, we tend to be more pressured in the hands yeah and we don't have any pressure in our arms yeah. or our forearms okay now now that's interesting because count yogi had a fantastic description and he said he never gripped the club. He just touched it. Isn't that fantastic? He never gripped the club, he just touched it. He just touched it. And, and obviously that's what's happening with you. You're just yeah. touching it, you're not gripping it. I, I don't feel like I've got a, a strangle on it. Just hit another one. That was just, just a magnificent golf shot. Yeah, the pressure's on. Yeah, <laughs> they hit two magnificent golf shots. Sun's out, guys. Beautiful now. Wow. Okay. That's, that's off the scale. Ready, Cade, five o'clock nose. Well, it just doesn't get any better than that. I mean, it's just ballistically straight and long. Ball just falls out of the sky, doesn't well, it? Well, exhausted spin. Goes up. And, and unless up. you've been around Mo Norman, you will never see that or Tom Watson. That is exhausted spin. It goes out to a zenith and falls straight down. And Mo Norman said to me, he said, 
Just call me Johnny Boy. He said, Johnny Boy, why? Why would you have backspin on a shot coming into a green? You don't know how much that ball's going to come back. And he, and he used Greg Norman. He said, backspin cost Greg Norman a couple of majors and a few tournaments because in the early days, Greg could spin it back 30, 40 yards. I saw him at the New South Wales Club spin it back 75 feet off a green with a six iron. So he was right. You don't need spin. You need exhaust. It's out here, use all your spin in the air and let the ball fall down like a, uh, as we say over here, like a shot duck. Well, I've never been on a duck hunting expedition with you. I wouldn't want to be a duck. I, 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 I've heard of, I've had a few people duck when I played golf. Uh, yeah, I couldn't shoot anything. Not anything live. Uh, all right, give us one more. Then let's go for the trifecta. Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Can he do it? Three perfect shots. My Norman said no one can hit two perfect shots. Except him. Well, that, that, I mean, that was a great shot, but it didn't have the ready code in it. And of course, because it didn't have the ready code, he started down a little bit, it had a little power draw on it, whereas the other ones were dead straight. But don't feel bad. Mo said no one can hit three perfect shots. He said you can't hit two perfect shots. Uh, and I did that one day, I hit some shots, and to me they were perfect. I said, well, there, 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 there was five perfect shots, and he just looked at me and said, every one was different. Every one was different. So, oh, okay. okay. And to him they were. Okay, ready, go. There it is. That's a good ready code there, Mr. X. Now, the only thing you would add to that is just more five o'clock nose with the ready card. Okay, guys, that, that's what we call opposite lock for pitching and chipping. There'll be more on it going forward. I've got nothing to add. No. Okay, all right, guys, I just thought we'd do that today.